Today, let us discuss how to read standard books by foreign authors for CSIR NET, GATE and DBT exams. And we are starting right now. Biotechnica is probably one of the only institutes that always recommends a set of standard books in almost all its webinars. Standard books are no match in terms of knowledge depth and lucidity. But many times students find it difficult in referring to these books. And they come back to us saying that it's very complicated, it's very complex and we need assistance. So today, I'm going to give you 15 pointers which will help you do just that. So this is going to be a long video. Take pen and paper and let's get started. Number one, segregate and divide. Segregate the chapters from the book as per your CSIR net gate DBT syllabus and highlight the table of contents. Mark it thoroughly. This will help you pick only those topics which are needed for the competitive exam. This way you can just skip other things. Number two, prioritize main headings. Now the challenge here is you have got six months to prepare for the exam. And in this span of time, you have to complete 13 units of CSIR net. That becomes tedious. But you must study from authentic sources. Then, then only your success is guaranteed. So the best way of doing that is to focus on the headings first or the main points which are covered in bold, okay, for that particular topic or chapter. This way, you can cover the specified concepts faster. Now, if it's the first time you are reading the concept, then you must not do this. You, you, you must not follow this tip. Instead, you must follow the next tip which I'm going to give you now. Tip number three, write and learn. Now, in this distractionful era where you are bombarded with ads every 10 seconds, you must be focused or else you will not be able to study. That's the truth. I personally deploy the write and learn approach or method. Now, it's a brilliant way to keep your mind focused. Now, the simple formula behind this idea is that our mind is a machine that can focus only on one task at a time if all the senses focus on it. Okay, so the trick is to club more than two sense organs together and then study. That, that will involve them to get your focus on the subject and you will not get distracted. This way you can study for more in less time. Tip number four, build the flow. Now, in his book, Ikigai, author Francesc Miralles and Hector Garcia mention building the flow of work, which leads to happiness and work satisfaction. The same principle can be applied here. You need to create a distraction-free environment where you can achieve a flow state. Now, flow state is where you don't even realize that you have studied for hours together. And once you are in flow of studying, you can finish the most difficult chapters also in a flash of time. Now for this to happen, you have to start with smaller topic every day and allow yourself to come in the flow. Once you're in the flow of studying, then slowly switch to the difficult topics or subjects. As simple as that. Number five, compounding effect. Now, Albert Einstein once said that compounding effect is the world's eighth wonder. You can also utilize this in favor of your study. Study one topic per day and not trying to finish up everything in a single day. When you create a habit of studying every day, little by little, your ocean of knowledge fills up and you start achieving your study targets almost on a daily basis. That's the mantra, compound effect. Number six, focus on first 10 lines of the para. Now concentrate on each paragraph, first 10 lines, okay? For the 
topic which you want to study. This will actually help you get the idea of the concept first. Then make notes of the same. This will spark interest and help you gain mileage to study more of that topic. Also remember to study everything is not going to help you. Okay, so don't study everything. If this is not the first time you are studying, you must do selective study. Focus only on important concepts first and then skip the unimportant ones. Move to the next set of paragraph. Number seven, revision points. Now, whenever you are studying, make notes using the Cornell method. Now, this will help you get ready-made revision notes available anytime, all the time. Additionally, almost every standard reference books has a chapter summary towards the end of the chapter. Now, noting down the revision points given at the end of the chapter, at the back of the chapter as chapter summary is really helpful for proper memorization. Now, this way you can even skip some of the chapters altogether and straight away jump to the revision points and start revising because you have already studied all these things in your MSc. So you remember everything. The time is more important here, right? So just save on time and move to your, your chapter summary. Number eight, learn from diagrams. Now it's easy and time saving to understand the molecular mechanisms or techniques by looking at the diagrams. Now these procedures are very much pictorial in nature or the flow charts which are given in the, in the book. So the description given below them is also very compressed. So you have to look at the diagram, look at the summary and the bulleted points which are available and note it down. They will be very easy to understand and easy to memorize. It will activate your pictorial memory. So next time whenever you study from these books, pick the diagram, pick the flowcharts and pick the tables first before diving into the textual uh, density. That will keep your interest also into the subject. Number nine, solve and practice. Now just learning theory might not be sufficient. It is vital to know the pattern of questions which would be framed from the topic which you are studying right now. Practicing the exercises provided at the back of the chapters will be very helpful. It will enable you to become familiar with the pattern of the questions. One of the approaches can be first look at the question and then, then come back to the topic. It will help you improve your analytical skills, which is required to solve these questions. Now, most of the standard books contain solved exercises for the chapters or the concept review questions. Now, this will work as a desirable addition to your general study practice. Now, one common practice you can follow is before reading the chapter, open the concept, review the questions at the back first, study what kind of questions are asked and then start the topic. That way you will know which part of the chapter you have to focus on first and more. Seize the glossary. Glossary is your best friend while revising from a standard reference book. You get all the important terms, abbreviations and definitions enlisted in a single place in an alphabetical manner, in alphabetical order. This can enrich your knowledge and it works as a quick way of revising the entire content studied in the book. So do not miss out on looking at the glossary provided at the end of the standard book. Now, this part of the book is a very powerful tool, just like a flashcard revision technique. Look at the word, look at the definition. It will re recollect in your memory faster. Number 11, feast on book index. Now, sometimes feeling lost with any term or chemical formula is obvious. That is where index is the savior. Search for your word of choice in the index where names of chemical compounds, definition of specialized terms and variants of basic names that might not be there in the textual format or the glossary, but will be available in the index. You may also locate the terms that are not in the glossary by referring the index. That's the amazing part. 99% of the students ignore gloss glossary and index, but you must not. These are the two easy weapons for faster 
and better understanding, faster and better revision from a standard book. Number 12. Avoid referring to multiple books. Now do your research, conclude and select one or two, maximum two standard books against various subjects, not more than that. Molecular biology, genetics, biochemistry, these are vast subjects, immunology. You can't be referring five, five standard books. Now refer those standard books throughout the preparation. Do not spend much time reading and comparing the topics from different books. That leads to confusion. And it's an unnecessary productivity, which you can straight away avoid. We have included the link to all the unit-wise standard books for CSIRnet, GATE and DBT exam for your help in the description below. Just check it out. The link will help you download this PDF, go through and select which particular book you should study. Number 13. Mix it with the internet. Now while you are studying, you will get doubts or you may need clarity on certain topics which you are studying. Now in that case, you can always refer to the book's author's verified websites to refer to the web resources that comes along with the book. Now another very important word of caution which I want to give you, please do not randomly go on YouTube and start watching any random people's lectures. The depth of knowledge that is required for these competitive exam is very high. And most of the YouTube videos lack that depth. So focus on sand books. Number 14, 24 into 7 doubt solving by Biotechnica. Now to assist the students preparing for CSI and exam or gate exam, Biotechnica provides 24 into 7 chat support. And that means Whenever you are studying your book, you can ask your doubt at any point of the day or time. And you get replies from verified experienced expert faculty members of Biotechnica. They'll respond to your queries almost instantly. And that way you can avoid the poison called as academic doubts. Number 15. Use tech tools to make notes from standard books. Now let's talk about some smart ways to study from standard books. Number one is to scan important areas of the book using a scanning app and read it while you're traveling or revising. The number two is make voice notes when you're studying and listen to them while you're traveling or exercising or whenever you are free. Number three is revise using spaced repetition technique. The technique description is given in the link below. Number four is using Conceptica Lite and number five is revising using Concept Cloud. So these were the 15 pointers. You have it now, which will certainly help you achieve greater good from standard books. Remember, the depth and lucidity of these books are unmatched, cannot be matched. Now let me tell you my secret mantra to study any book any standard books. Whenever I pick a book, whenever I study a book, I promise to myself that I am, pro I am going to put more effort than the author of this book to understand it. Only then I can climb the ladder of knowledge and achieve the intellectual level of the author of this book. Now that's the mantra you have to keep in your mind. You have to study harder than Leninger to finish Leninger. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you soon in the next one. Till then, take care, study well, bye-bye and all the best.